What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to adjust your pixel density without having to make any complicated build.prop edits. Obviously you can't change the physical amount of pixels per inch on your phone's display using a software mod, but you can essentially trick Android into thinking your screen is either bigger or smaller than it actually is. The end result is that icons and apps are displayed at a different scale than they normally are, meaning that you can fit more stuff in the same space, or even less, if that's what you want to do. Now like I said, this can be done by editing values in your device's build.prop file, but developer Basil Bakir has created an app that allows rooted users to modify different display density values with an easy to use interface. The app is called Window Manipulator, but it hasn't found its way onto the Play Store just yet, so you'll need to download it separately. You can find that download over at the full tutorial, so head to the link in the description below this video to grab your copy. And once you've downloaded that, be sure you have unknown sources enabled in your phone's settings under security. Then tap the download complete notification to begin. On this next screen, just hit install. Then when that's finished, press open. When you first launch Window Manipulator, the app will ask for super user privileges, so grant it those. Then from here, it's a pretty straightforward experience. There's really three different values that you can change. Density, screen size, and overscan area. For the most part, you can get away with just adjusting the density value. But if you make changes to the screen size and overscan values, you can customize your display a bit further. So let's start with density, since it's the main one and it's right up top. Current generation smartphones are mostly at 480 dots per inch these days. Some are a little bit bigger, some are smaller. But Android rounds the DPI of your display to the nearest value when determining the scale for apps and icons. Right now there are 7 DPI values that Android uses by default. 120, 160, 213, 240, 320, 480, and 640. So you can use one of these values if you want everything to scale perfectly but you can also use a number that falls in between if that looks better to you. And with all of these values, the smaller you go, the smaller the icons and visual assets will be. Another thing to note is that if you're using a Galaxy S5 like I am, you might want to switch to a custom launcher, because the TouchWiz Home Launcher was designed specifically for the stock pixel density on this phone, and that's probably the case for most other manufacturer design launchers. But third-party launchers like Nova and Apex, or even the Google Now Launcher, are designed for multiple devices, so all of their visual assets are scalable. Just something to consider when you're making these changes. But anyway, I'll go ahead and put in a lower pixel density to make the icons on this phone a bit smaller. I've found that 320 dpi looks good on this display, so I'll go with that. And once you alter one of these values, the changes take effect on the fly. But you may still have to perform a reboot to clear cache on some apps that have already loaded their images. Then after you've adjusted the dpi, you can change the display resolution of your device with this second option. The format to use here is Width, X, Height, and basically you can use this in conjunction with your DPI mod to tweak the scaling of your screen a little more. Finally, there's an entry for Overscan Area, and the format here is Left, comma, Top, comma, Right, comma, Bottom. This one will add a little bit of a frame around your screen or adjust the positioning if your resolution value doesn't quite match the aspect ratio of your display. So really, just find the DPI that you like, then use the Resolution and Overscan settings to tweak it to perfection. Then, if you're playing around with these values and your display gets a little too far out of whack, there's a reset button beneath each entry that'll put the values back to stock. But let me reboot real quick to clear app cache so I can show you how this looks when it's all said and done. Okay, so with this normally being a 1080 by 1920 display with a DPI value of 480, I bumped those down to 900 by 1600 with a DPI of 320. The end result is that the screen still maintains its original 16:9 aspect ratio, so I didn't have to mess with overscan values. But the icons and visual assets are now a lot smaller, and more of them can fit on the screen at one time. I'm using the Google Now Launcher, and it scaled everything accordingly, so nothing looks out of whack. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking!